Hi guys, I'm Night Angel and welcome to my channel Timelapse 3D. Since this is the first vlog time video I'm recording, please pardon all the stuttering and ums in this video. Now this one is an update video on my 3D printer and prints. I'm gonna aim to have one of these videos for every three modeling videos that I do. And I'll actually have time lapse of the prints for those videos. But for now, let's just stick with me talking, please. So before we jump in, I just want to mention that every print in this video can be found on Thingiverse. I'll have a link to the description to Thingiverse. Also, if you want to have my time-lapse video speed slowed down, leave a comment and I'll try to slow the videos down and also try to keep them in a reasonable amount of time. Now that's all for now, let's jump into the video. Hi guys, so I thought I wouldn't do this but uh, since I felt that it is necessary to put at least put my name, uh, my voice uh, on YouTube so that I can finally get some sub subscribers. I'm gonna do this and uh, since I've already printed all these stuff, I thought that might as well I would have this first voice video uh, along with all my, all, with, with this uh, first print video. So before I get into all this, all these prints, letting you guys know that I'll be taking some suggestions uh, from the comments below on what I should be uh, modeling next in my videos. Uh, you can either put a, an image or a description of what you want to be modeled, either a, in, an, in an anime, in a uh, movie like the Game of Thrones sword that, that uh, is actually right there stuck in the tissue box uh, or or the car, uh, games like the Har uh, Hearthstone right here. So uh, after I'm done li like all the rest of these uh, models I'll be put putting the uh, STL files on Thingiverse for you guys to download for free. So if you want to get your uh, get whatever it is that you want to be modeled on an STL file and actually print it yourself, leave a comment below and uh, I'll try to get to it. And if it's not too complicated, it might take a week or so. Uh, if it's quite complicated like in a monster or or the the 10 mana dragon card in, in hearthstone that uh it might take two weeks or if it's just too too complicated i might just uh reply to your comment and then maybe you can either choose another one or maybe choose something that would be easier for me uh, it, that, that that will be easier to, and can be done in a reasonable um, amount of time. Since I haven't uh, gotten a video out in the past week, I'll be trying to get this video out this video out as soon as possible. And I'll ha I'm having another video coming out that's about uh, uh, Alphonse Elric uh, model, the armor, uh, the model of the full armor. Uh, it'll be coming out either tomorrow or the next day. So look f forward to that soon. So finally moving on to these models here. So uh, first, uh, first, first uh, model, that video that I've done. Uh, How do I say this? This one was really took me a while to print. Uh, it was I couldn't figure out what what it was that was wrong uh, until 
after I printed everything and then I figured out that uh, I was supposed to have two outer layers, two skins instead of just one. This was only one skin. Yeah, so I print this on one layer only and some of the and the top here just broke off because it was too thin and uh, yeah the supports removal is some some optimal and so the wings I printed at uh, 0. Point, I think eight, either 80 microns or 50 microns and then the body was at uh, 100 microns and the front was is was at uh, I think also 100 microns and it's not uh, not great but uh, I think I'm gonna print everything again after after I get uh, the, my second extruder and and uh, get some PVA to print for the uh, water soluble supports then I will be I think I will just do it with all the parts and print uh, everything everything as it is as a whole it'll use a lot of supports but uh, meh, oh well uh, so the second one it was th this so second video here has the book of Sp specters uh, so this was actually my first print out of all, all these here it was done with uh, with only supports on the side I think that I might be able to get away with this uh, without support and uh, so the so this was I think I'm gonna say a hundred microns now I color this uh, just to sort of test out how the color would uh, benefit. Uh, it didn't turn out great, but uh, it's it's okay. It's something. Leave a comment below if you know what uh, what color options I can use. Uh, maybe sort of some acrylic acrylic base maybe oil based because I think water doesn't it's not great on these on the PLA oh by the way I just I printed all these on the uh, Hashbox uh, Hashbox PLA and they were all white so the next one was here which cauldron huh was well, really simple, but it took a forever to print. So this one took me, I think, about eleven hours, and it's a uh, hundred microns, zero point one millimeters. It's not really fine, and it still took a long time. But I think it turned out great. Uh, there's just some, uh, I'll put some pictures in the video as well, just to, uh, to show you up close on how the, how the surface turned out. But so all of these were only one layer of skin. So the support, uh, the infill is, is, uh, coming through there. I'm going to print everything again on a two layer or even three layer of skin. Uh, after I get my uh, second extruder and then PVA, I, I don't think I'm gonna print again uh, because removing supports is uh, it's really tough. Let's just say that. And uh, so the there was also. A video between this one and the sword 
it's the dagger. The dagger, I was, I'm gonna finish it, uh, probably in the next few weeks, let's say, let's say that. Uh, I'm currently working on a building so that I have these uh, small gadgets here of of Hearthstone. I have uh, I have weapons or just weapon singular, and I have I'm gonna have a humanoid of uh, Alphonse Elric coming out, and I'm gonna have a building coming out uh, after that will cover most, if not all, of the of the models that you can do. I'm gonna go back and finish the dagger after the building, I think, yes. So, on to the sword of Adark Sark. So I know that there's another version of, of the sword here. I, did, I didn't know that until I, after I finished the model, but yeah, oh well, so it's still something. This is the failed version. So uh, I printed like I printed this standing up, and as you can see, it's pretty long here. It just started moving at that's that's about uh, that's about. 19, 19, 19 centimeters, so uh, 190 millimeters up, and then it started wobbling. So this one I printed only on the brim, and uh, the bottom here it was under extruded, so it wasn't fully attached to the bed. So it started wobbling at higher up, uh, up in uh, in the print. And I had to stop it. So I was gonna cut this and not print another one, but instead I just I was like, oh, oh well, I has fun some time, so I I printed this this one here. There we go. Uh, there's a full view. So I had this hilt printed way before, and this was at 50 microns. I have I had some supports uh, here on the on the bottom here only. I use Idea Maker uh, slicer for this for the custom supports uh, only at the bottom for the blade area. It was at uh, hundred microns. Well, it turned out okay. You can still you can see the layers, of course, but uh, the, the, it's pretty smooth. And since since this one, this other one failed, I just I just printed this one up to the hundred and ninety mark, and then I printed out the uh, the top here, the tip here separately and then I glued it together but I think with a raft uh, I can actually go all the way to the tip to the top or uh, if you want to print this you I think it would be just easier to just print this laying down with some supports but depends on you it depends on uh, what kind of equipment you have what kind of printer you have Anyway, so there are all the, all my uh, designs on my channel. So there again, there's the uh, flame tongue, the book of specters, the cauldron, and finally the sort of Eidark Stark. So uh, I'm gonna show you my 3D printer next. So I have a a, a TiVo tornado. So it's gonna be just one second. So here is the TiVo tornado. So the first mods or prints uh, 
to this、uh, printer was was not actually the spool holder, but in fact the、uh, uh, the leveling leveling caps or what do you call those uh, leveling uh, screws because I I first printed the stock、um, spool holder that came with the SD STD card. And first time it failed because the power unplugged. I didn't plug in the power all the way. And then the second time it failed again because apparently there was a dent in my filament, and this extruder couldn't was clicking and it couldn't extrude properly. So I thought that it's gonna uh, uh, just uh, download a、uh, a spool holder from Thingiverse instead. Yeah, and in the meantime, I printed these、uh, knobs. So they turned out okay. They turned out pretty good. So this was before I had any reasonable、uh, knowledge about the printer. So I just changed the、uh, the temperature and the speed, mostly the temperature. That was the、uh, all I knew, and it still worked. So the sec second thing was the spool holder. So I I I wanted this、uh, on the control box instead of、uh, up there because when the printer is shaking, I was afraid that the the Spool would actually fall down, and it will have the chance of the print failing. So、uh, putting this on the control box, well, it works, so that's good. And then there's the one thing I printed in、uh, PETG here is the strain relief. So because the、uh, heated bed, well. The Thingiverse website suggests the ABS, ABS or PTG for the、uh, heat resistance, so I just use PTG for it.、Uh, it's not, it's not necessary, in,、uh, you can say, but、uh, oh well, so it's、uh, something. And this camera、uh, mount, it's not PTG. It's only、uh, PLA, but. For now, it's、uh, working. It's not、uh, melting or anything like that. So、uh, I think it it should work. <laughs> And finally, I have these、uh, caps here. I wanted something to print. I was running out of things to print, so I just printed these. And、uh, so six in total, two up there, two up there.、Uh, Two here, and then two on the end there. I'm pretty sure you you notice that the print bed there's a bump or bubble or it's lifted. Well, it's the it's the usual、uh, problem with the tornado bed. For some reason, apparently the glue it's melted because of the.、Uh, That the heat is too high. Now I did got this up to a hundred more, more than a hundred degrees、uh, at one time. During that time, it was they had did not have any bubbles. But after a couple of cycles, after I think it might have been the the, the glue had come off, but it did not show. It was still sort of sticking. But、uh, the cold. Cold hot cycle after must have just caused it to go over the edge. So I've、uh, ordered a、uh, a flexible、uh, bed.、Uh, removing the、uh, the model from the bed is a pain in the ass. So I've just got the flexible. Just I do not want any any more of those. It's 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 really just painful. So the bed is coming, I think, in the next few days.
and uh, I've got another extruder or uh, ordered one uh, from AliExpress uh, it's a second shooter for either uh, water soluble supports or just another color if I want to. And uh, for the control box, I've got a, a, a TL smoother, smoother. I don't know if I need it. I just ordered it along with the with the extruder on AliExpress. So other than that, it's stock. I did not change much. No, actually, I didn't. I didn't change anything at all. I, I, I there was some problems uh, with the nozzle at one point. Removed everything and put everything back together. I replaced only replaced the cotton thing. Yeah, because it was the stock one was falling apart. So I, I bought another pack and then replace one there but that does not change the print quality so the print quality is 100% stock uh, so everything here is either cosmetic or just uh, ease of use of the printer so that concludes this video make sure to leave a comment below on what you want to be uh, featured in or one, what you want me to model in the next next few videos and I'll definitely have the STL file on Cineverse for you guys to, to download again since this is a uh, new channel leaving a comment uh, or leaving a like or both would help me a lot and I hope you guys have a nice day Thank you. Bye for now.